Welcome back. In this section, let's continue to learn more about queries in React testing library. Up until now, we have seen get by query with various suffixes to query for a single element in the DOM. However, you will come across scenarios where you have to find multiple elements in the DOM. For that purpose, React testing library provides the get all by query. It returns an array of all matching nodes for a query and throws an error if no elements match. Every get by query has a corresponding get all by query. In this video, let's focus on just get all by role query. You'll be able to leverage what we've learned so far to understand the remaining query methods on your own. Let's begin. Now for this video as well, I have set up some code behind the scenes. In the components folder, I have created a folder called skills. Within the folder, I have a skills.tsx file, which contains the React component. The component accepts props, which contains an array of strings as skills. In the JSX, we map over skills rendering the items one at a time. We have a UL tag and possible li tags within the UL tag. Really simple component as you can see. Let's now write tests for this component. In the skills folder, create a new file, skills.test.tsx. At the top, make the necessary import. Import, render, screen, from at testing library slash react, and import the skills component as well. Next, add a describe block to group together tests for the skills component. The name is going to be skills, and within the function body, we are going to add our tests. For our first test, let's ensure the component renders correctly. Let's begin by defining an array of skills we can pass as a prop to the component. HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Next, invoke the test method from jest. The test name is renders correctly. And the second argument is a function. Within the function, we first render the component with the props. Skills is equal to skills. Next, we ensure the list is present in the DOM. We're going to find the UL tag by role. Const list element is equal to screen dot get by role list. And then we expect list element to be in the document. If you now save the file and run yarn test, we can see the test succeeds. Our component renders correctly. For our second test, let's ensure all the list items are also rendered for the given props. So test, the first argument is the test name renders a list of skills, and the second argument is a function. Within the function, we render the skills component. Make sure to pass in the props. We then get all the list items using the list item role. Const list item elements is equal to screen dot get all by role and the role is list item. 
We then expect list item elements to have length of three. This is because we are passing in three skills as props. If we save the file, both the tests pass. We are now able to find multiple elements in the DOM and assert against them. When working with lists, this is a pretty common scenario. Now one improvement I would like to suggest is to not use hard-coded values like three here. Instead, use skills.length. In doing so, when you choose to add a new skill into the array, your test will not break and you don't have to figure out if something is wrong with the component or the test itself. Let me also quickly show that if I replace get all by role with get by role, the test throws an error. Found multiple elements with the role list item. As we have seen earlier in the series, get by class of queries throw an error if more than one match is found. So you have to rely on get all by class of queries. To summarize, get all by class of queries are used to find multiple elements in the DOM. They return an array of all matching nodes for a query and throw an error if no elements match. In our example, we used get all by role to find all the list items in a component and used the to have length matcher in our assertion. I hope you now have an idea of how to use both get by and get all by class of queries with React testing library. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.